let's proceed with another subtopic which is called mass wasting or mass movement. This is a subtopic which is originated after the reaction or the effect of, of weathering. Even according to this description of mass wasting, it can be just is just basing on the weather. For instance, mass wasting, mass wasting or mass movement is a downward movement of weathered materials down the slope under the influence of gravitation forces without involving the erosion agents like water, wind, and ice. Dear students, whenever we talk about a mass wasting or mass movement. This is the tendency of down movement of weathered materials. What is the meaning of weather? Weathering. Weathering. As we described about weathering, this refer to the process of disintegration and decomposition of materials. And when I'm talking about disintegration, this is the reaction of temperature after to heat the landmass and cause it for expansion. But whenever we talk about decomposition, this is the reaction of water, as we described in terms of mechanical and chemical. But whenever we talk about mass wasting, this is the downward movement of weathered materials due to gravitation forces. Therefore, the movement of mass wasting of this material downwards is just impressed with the gravitation forces. These are just a force attraction to each other of these materials but is not engaging or influenced with the soil erosion, erosion agents like water, wind, and ice. For instance, this is a landmass. This landmass, it can be influenced with weathering in terms of, of temperature. For instance, this is the upper, upper land or upper soil. But it's just influenced or affected with the temperature at the sunrise which can be heat in these parts and to cause it for disintegration. Wherever it will be disintegrated, it can cause for the movement of material to cause for tarus. Are they tarus as we discussed about weathering before? But remain the landmass which is more weakness. Remain because the, the upper lands have been removed or have been affected and remain the landmass which is weak in nature. Wherever will be weak in nature this landmass, therefore, wherever the reaction of gravitation forces or attraction of material to each other can cause this material to be moving downwards and cause for the material, another material to move from one place to another, from one place to another, which is just impressed with gravitation forces, gra gravitation. This process is called, is called, called mass, mass wasting or mass movement. Dear students, you have to differentiate these two weights, mass wasting and mass, uh, mass wasting and weathering. This mass wasting is after the reaction or after the effect of weathering. Wherever the effect of weather will be happening can cause for the move or for the mass wasting because the land mass will be weakened. Therefore, wherever the gravitation forces will be taking place, therefore the downward movement will be taking place. Dear student, classification of mass wasting. Mass wasting is classified. Uh, mass wasting or mass movement is classified under two categories or groups according to speed and the nature of material involved. Dear students, according to nature of material involved, there is slow mass wasting, slow mass wasting, and rapid mass wasting. For instance, slow mass wasting, this involves the movement of weathered material down the gentle slope. Slow mass wasting involves the source cripple, taro cripple, sorry fraction or sorry fractions are the parts. Therefore, we have to describe each of this terminology or this term of slow mass wasting. But before to go to description of these parts of soil mass wasting or slow mass wasting, we have to understand the meaning of slow mass wasting. Dear students, slow mass wasting, this refers to the movement of material in the area of gentle. 
But you have to remind yourself the meaning of gentle. Gentle is a part of 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 relief. Relief. Because the relief is the general appearance of the air surface. As the highland or lowland in soil is just called the surange, milima na magond. But this relief, it can be in highland, high and low, low. But most of the highland, you can describe there, there is gentle. Uh, there is steep slope. Steep, 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 uh, steep slope. But in lowland, mostly it's just taking place there, the land mass of gentle, gentle. Uh, but gentle and steep, it can be taken to highland, but the, the slope of, of gentle and steep is slightly different. For instance, these two appearance of this slope, eh? this is A, this is B, eh? this is B. For instance, this is A, this is B. This is, it can be steep slope, steep slope, but this is, it can be gentle slope. Eh? Eti, ukimwaga maji ipi ambayo itafikisha maji alaka, I think it's A, or steep slope, than the gentle one. Therefore, this is slow mass wasting. It's just in taking place to the area of gentle. And it is categorized into three. There is a soil creep, tarosy, and soil fraction are the parts of slow mass wasting. Dear students, well, uh, we want to discover uh, one apart from other. Uh, for instance, soil creep involves the movement of the weathered materials, mainly fine soil down the slope. Dear, uh, dear students, we are just talking about mass wasting, down the movement of weathered material. And it's just impressive with gravitation forces. Therefore, whenever we are talking about soil creep, this is the down movement of weathered material due to gravitation forces. Mostly, the material which is just moving or down moving from up to low lands is fine nature. Fine, fine in nature. Fine, these are soft one, so soft material. Therefore, Although it is a down movement of material in the area of gentle, gentle area, gentle area, but the material which is just moving from one place to another is fine in nature, or fine material, or soft material. That's why it's called soil creep. For instance, this type, this type is slow, but still it stands and it is unnoticeable. Or you cannot to notice noticeable. It can be recognized only because or by bending of the trees. Dear students, although the material which is just moving from highland to the lowlands is fine in nature or soft material, therefore you can it is impossible to identify or to recognize what have been taken place. But mostly wherever there is a certain tree, for instance, this is a tree. Tree. But wherever this tree will be bending. Therefore, some of roots, it can be uprooting, uh, uprooting or moving with some particles which will be funny in nature. Another subtopic, uh, not subtopic, but part of mass wasting is called tarus creep, which just taking place in, so, uh, in the area of slow mass wasting. You have to remind yourself that uh, this mass wasting is categorized into two parts, slow mass wasting and a uh, rapid one. But in terms of slow, there is, there is soil creep and the talus creep. But this, uh, as I told you, soil creep is just a movement of, uh, the down, down movement of weathered material which is fine in nature or soft in nature. But whenever you're talking about talus creep, is the slow movement of weathered material, mainly tarus or rock particles, down the slope. The, the, the slope is gentle, so that the screws or tarus move down the slope slowly. Therefore, most of this is slow mass wasting is just taking place to the gentle areas, as I told you. But it's just categorized in different ways. It can be a soil creep, 
Tarus or certification, but uh, soil creep, uh, so, soily, soily, uh, uh, we have described it about it in terms of fine materials, but tarus creep, this is the down, down movement of weathered material which are large in nature or tarus in nature. For instance, this material is rocky to the gravels, uh, pebbles which are large, kama kokoto kokoto, or like a story. Therefore, wherever we talk about tarus, you are just take, uh, talking about the material which are large in size, which is just moving from the uh, uplands to the downwards. Therefore, material, uh, for instance, this tarus is just is a lock particles, eh? Come out of my mouth, down the slope of gentle area. So the uh, screws or tarus move down the slope. Dear students, Although it's just taking place or moving to the area which is gentle in nature, but if the material which is just moving from highland to the lowland is tarus in nature. Tarus, this is just a mawe mawe or rock like such or gravels. But the material is not taking place to the steep slope like this one because it's just to the slow. And the slow, most of the material is just a just taking place to the area of gentle. For instance, this is Taurus. Taurus in another name is called Secrets. Secrets. Uh, like this way. Wherever you meet yourself, don't undergo other anonymizing. You have to understand that Taurus is like to the screws, material which are lock like structure or gravels like structure or pebbles in nature. Dear students, another part of slow mass wasting is self crushing. This is the downward, downward movement of weathered material which involves the mixture of gravels, which is tarus, and the fine soil, the slope. Dear students, I told you that according to slow, slow mass wasting, it's just moved the material from highland to the lowland. The movement is just moving from highland to the lowlands. But it's just taking place to the area or full jet slope, but it can be soil creep or tarus in nature or solidification. And uh, the soil, soil creep is a material which are fine in nature, thin lie, or a particles is fine in nature. For instance, the bed of the creep. But tarus material is large in nature. It is just taking place to the area of a gentle area. And you have to differentiate between gentle and steep. Gentle, the area is right to the flat areas. But uh, uh, steep is just taking place to the area of high uh, slope or the area of high gravitation. Therefore, all gradients. Therefore, the movement of this material, for instance, this is a uh, self is a mix between tarus and the fine materials. Therefore, for instance, this is structure, self although it is a mix between, mix between gravels or tarus and the fine soil downwards. Therefore, material which is moving from highland to the lowlands is mixing between the gravels or tarus or local -like structure and the material which are fine in nature. And the main causes of this movement is not agents of soil erosion. For instance, water, wind, ice, and others of the same nature. But it's just moved or influenced or affected with gravitation forces. Attraction to each other. Because it is solidification, solid fraction, therefore the movement of this material will be mixed between the fine one and the, the hardness one, which is the tarot or rock like structure. When the fine materials, fine materials, male craze is saturated, it can, it can flow slowly, forming a plastic flowage, a plastic flowage down the touch, the movement is called the soil flow. Dear students, Although the movement is fine materials and low particles, but wherever this movement will be saturated with water, 
For instance, those materials which are soft or fine one, fine material, wherever this will be reacted with water or saturated with water, therefore the movement will be in terms of flowage, flow. Uh, that's why it is called the soil flow. Soil, soil flow. Uh, and the movement is just taking place to the area of gentle, not steep. Dear students, let me describe another part or category of mass wasting or mass movement, which is called the rapid mass wasting. Rapid mass wasting is a type of mass wasting which mainly occur on the steep slope. Dear students, we have to remind you, or I, I have to remind you, on the difference between rapid and slow mass wasting. Slow mass wasting is taking place to the area of gentle. But whenever we're talking about uh, rapid mass wasting, this is the kind of uh, movement or gravitation forces which can be taking place in the area of, of steep slope. As I told you that these words are different. Is a part, all, all, all of them is a part of slope. Yeah, this slope. And this slope, it can be gentle in nature or it can be steep in nature. Steep in nature. But you have to remind yourself of this difference in terms of slope. Yeah? For instance, this, it can be gentle. Gentle. But this, yeah, this is steep. Kwani hakuna mlima wa hivi? Kwani hakuna mlima wa hivi? Upi ambao ni mkali, mlima mkali. This is steep. A steep, steep slope. This is gentle slope. Therefore, for gentle, is, is the earth movement or mass wasting is taking place to the gentle area it is called slow, soil, uh, slow mass wasting. But the one which is taking place to the steep one is called rapid. And uh, the one which we are just see, oh, we are going to describe. Mm -hmm. Rapid. We are going to describe. Therefore, uh, rapid mass wasting has affected the forms of movement. There are flowage movement, sludge movement, and falling movement. Let's describe each one apart another one. Before, uh, we have to describe the fluorescent flowage. After discovering, we have to go to another a part of rapid. Therefore, we, we shall re describe in a good way. Let's describe this rapid mass wasting or mass movement. Uh, the first one is called the flowage movement, including mud flow, earth flow. Therefore, we have to start with the mud flow. Is a movement of unsolidated or loose materials such as fine soil, which is supersaturated super, uh, super with water down the slope. It moves rapidly as it is very saturated. Very saturated. Dear students, this is a movement of material in the area which is slope in nature, a gent, uh, steep slope in nature. But the material which is just taking place in this area is the ones which are fine in nature. For instance, clay. Yeah. Wherever this fine material will be saturated or reacted with the water, therefore the material will be moving from one place to another in terms of flowing. Yeah. Wherever water will be moving or uh, flowing, from, uh, uh, flowing from one place to another. Eh, inakuwa, inakama ya mzungu wa zungu waka. Therefore, the, this relation between water and the, the, the soil or the fine materials, it can be muddy nature. Muddy, eh, muddy. This is just matope, kama mwaya kuna matope. Eh, because they have been the active. But the inference is gravitation. The one which can influence the movement of this material. But the movement, it can be flowage in, flowage in nature. Mwana? up to, to the entrance. That is called flowage. Uh, for instance, this structure. This 
saturated. Saturated is lacking to the reaction, a mixing between water and the particles or the material which is taking place on the surface. Another one is earth flow. It's the flowing movement which involves the rigorous or rock particles which are saturated with water down the, the slope. The amount of water content is the earth flow is less than the mud flow. Dear students, whenever I talk about mud flow, this is the uh, water to be reacted with the, the fine materials like clay soils. But whenever I talk about earth flow, this is just the movement of or downward movement of weathered material, whereby water have been reacted with the particles which are large in nature. For instance, regolith or, or stones or large particles, come on, mawe, mawe, rock particles. Well, whenever this will be reacted with water, water it can be forcing this large particle to be shifting or moving from one place to another. For instance, this is the straw. But the particles which is just taking place in this area is large in nature, for instance, local in nature or regolith. Wherever water will be reacted in this area, in the presence of gravitation forces, therefore, the flowing of this material is regularly in nature or large particles. Mm -hmm. For this, this structure, eh? you, uh, you can see yourself uh, the slope of this, this landmass. Therefore, material which is just moving from one place to another is regularly or log particles in nature, not, ma not soil which reacted with water, because the soil which reacted with water we can obtain mud or matope. But here, the material which is just shifted from highland to the lowlands is the large particles. 